What's up, my YouTube brothers and sisters? This is Rockbutt43 coming at you with an update. Um, it's been about three months uh, since I did an RC video. Uh, it was kind of like a truck, well, it was a trailer style video. Just to uh, let you see like some of uh, the products that Saga uh, was selling. And also to show you some of my upcoming builds. Um, I actually got to do some of them. Uh, it's been kind of a rough three months, you know, like those curveballs at you and, you know, just, it is what it is, but, um, I did get a chance to do a couple things, so I'm, uh, let you guys check that out. Um, I actually got rid of a few projects and gained a couple, um, I'm probably going to do, well, I am going to do two fifth scales over the winter. Uh, fifth scale build thanks to uh, my boy Jersey Geo uh, awesome brother um, can't wait till he posts his own videos because he got some awesome builds but uh, shout out to the 70 plus club shout out to the whole RC community whatever you do in it uh, what you see right there is my Emacs build um, I wanted to do this build for a long time, but I was actually waiting on getting the car that's, that used to be Saga's. Uh, I did a bunch of stuff to it. Um, I'll get more in depth when I run the car. I'll show you what I did to it and uh, all that good stuff. I'm currently waiting on a custom wing and some uh, fifth scale adapters from EM Performance. And uh, that'll put on then I'll take you out real quick and them shocks. I'm gonna do what I need to do with them shocks to get it to squat the way I need it. And um, hopefully, this coming weekend, uh, I'll be out running because there's a couple other cars I'm gonna be running. And I'll show you in a bit, but I'm gonna take you out real quick and show you this. Get a little up close. Um, yeah, a bunch of entity in it. This is purple. Um, it looks blue, but it, it is actually purple. So the shade is a little different from the purple entity you see, but yeah. So, like I said, I'll get more in depth once I get the rest of the parts in, and I'm gonna be running Poseidon. That's a vinyl sticker. Um, this was a easy paint job. It's, this is that pro graphics body that comes with the graphics already in it. Uh, and then you just spray your color behind it. So it was an easy paint job. Um, like I said, I'll just give you a glimpse of this one for now. Once it's fully finished, then I'll let you guys see what's going on inside. Um, like I said, it's going to be powered by Poseidon. Uh, I'm a, it's going. I got a few cars, so the video might be a little long. Just kind of be patient. Um, so I'm going to set up the next cars. Give me a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, I got my E-Revos out. Um, I actually got three of them now. Um, I'll take you out real quick. And like I said, I'll, in, in later videos when I'm doing the car single, I'll show you exactly what's going on with them. I actually found some of the E-Revo Entergy parts that fits on this car. Uh, but I did a new another body, squatted it. I think I'm going to squat the front a little, just a little lower, but I'm going to see this weekend uh, how she acts out there. Um, do some test runs. Um, 6S. Poseidon powered. Um, I'm gonna keep this 6S as a matter of fact. And then this one here, um, I stripped, uh, dyed the chassis. I have a bunch of orange and gunmetal integer parts coming. Um, I end up selling the first generation E Revo. And I'm going to try to duplicate 
that build with the 2.0 and that's going to be my this is going to be set up for 8s uh, Poseidon powered as well and then I'm going to keep this baby is going to be my basher as soon as I get these builds done and get out and bash <laughs> Oh, I'm going to do something crazy with the UDR, too. Uh, that's going to be a fun build as well. But, uh, like I said, I'll get more in-depth with the cars as I get them done. Um, so, give me a second, and uh, I'll switch up again. Okay, I'm back again, guys. Uh, on the right is my slash four wheel drive or rally or whatever you <laughs> slash rally um, that's finished um, my x3 is on the left uh, I'll get you out real quick get some close ups these only need a couple more things the slash is actually done just needs to go out well I have to set up a uh, my camber and all that stuff on the on the wheels and make sure everything's square. Um, this is TP powered, as you can see in there. Uh, Saga trays. These are awesome trays. Um, tried that. Uh, you know, I can't paint with candy orange. It always gets that marble effect, <laughs> but that's what ends up happening when I use it so it is what it is <laughs> still gonna run it it's a good speed run body it's a McLaren um, just got a couple things I need to do to it um, I got a I'm waiting for solder right now I ran out of solder this is actually a 1700 kV uh, Steve new this here is a fan um, the fan is actually on the shaft, so when the shaft turns, that's what helps cool the motor. Like I said, all I got to do is solder that. Uh, and hook everything up, get everything in there. Got a bunch of carbon fiber stuff made from Saga. Like I said, I'll get more in depth. Once I run the car, I'll let you guys see what's going on with it. Uh, here's the body to this. I used the... Um, the actual GTX body. Uh, the reason why <laughs> the windows are gray, um, I had a spray can that had a black lid on it. I didn't look to see what it was, shook it up, started spraying, and it was gray. <laughs> so I had to finish it. But it's gunmetal and blue, and then with the with the gray. Um, not sure how this is going to work. I might have to add some. Uh, like sand to curve it up to get some downforce but uh, we'll see like I said these these babies are just about ready to go um, just gotta do some little bit of little more tuning to them get them out get some runs in uh, got some spots to get you know get some decent numbers and well, not decent numbers, but got some spots to really test and tune and get them right. Uh, it's just hard for me to go down to Maryland uh, as much uh, as I would like to. It's like an hour and ten minute drive and just can't find the time. But like I said, uh, I love this game. I'm going to keep building. And... Uh, I'll find where I need to be sooner or later. Uh, show you, I got one more thing to show you. Um, still didn't do what I wanted to do to the Audi yet. Actually, I got two more things to show you. Let me let me get that set up real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back again. Uh, I'm get. Let me take you out real quick. Let me get close. Try to do this fast. Uh, I also had in that 
uh, like trailer style video my Fortec uh, that I was building um, I actually got three now um, <clears throat> uh, you guys know that I love Entergy but at the time that I got all these parts for this car they didn't have Entergy didn't have nothing for it so I used Hot Racing uh, GPM and some STRC uh, this is just a mixture of stuff uh, just gotta get the electronics in this I'm only gonna run I'm gonna use a 48 pitch gearing uh, as you can see there's a TP in there um, they actually did have this from Entergy but at the time that I saw this that's the only thing they had for the Fortec which also this battery tie down is for the uh, TRX 4 the crawler that they have so that's why I got that but like I said I'm only run uh, I'm gonna run 48 pitch gearing um, probably low sales you know just something to play around with uh, then Entergy comes out with their stuff <laughs> I've seen that um, and I'm building another one this I actually dyed it black yesterday um, I'm gonna do uh, mod 1 gearing in here um, and I also have another one that I'm building for drag So, looking forward to getting these done as well. Um, these are probably these probably won't see no run time until uh, next summer, as well as this one. Here's my X3. Um, this is going to be Poseidon powered. I got a, a motor from Poseidon coming that I'm gonna put in here. Um, I end up carving this bumper all the heck up, so now I'm waiting for a new bumper. Um, just a little tip for the new newcomers. Uh, when I first got in the game, I didn't know much about nothing. I was just building stuff just to build. Um, but the main thing is you want to make sure that your drivetrain does not have no binding at all. Like if you're turning your, your you see what I'm doing with this? hex back here if you're turning this and it's got any kind of resistance then you got binding somewhere and it could be as simple as your diff housing the nuts I mean excuse me the screws that's in it being too tight and smashing the plastic on your uh, your bearings or it could be something in your spool but just make sure that you got all the binding eliminated because that will your motor will be able to run more efficient. Um, just thought, you know, I would let you, you guys know that because I built some cars in the past that, you know, the motors was overheating and all that stuff. And then I finally figured out that uh, it was binding. So just be careful with that. The motors can run a lot more efficient when it's uh when it doesn't have to work as hard so um, I'm gonna give you guys a another look at this car when it's done um, which will not be too much longer I, I did get a good bit of stuff done I have a couple buggies that I want to show you guys too but uh I've been running a little long this video is probably about 14 minutes so um, you know, hopefully I'll be able to do a couple more videos before it gets, before the season's over around here. And hopefully it'll be run videos. So, uh, till the next video, peace.